If you're looking to get into GTA RP and get into PGN, you're gonna need a PC. And thankfully, I've teamed up with the amazing people over at Apex Gaming PCs to bring you the Pro Gamer PC. That's right, you can get your very own certified Pro Gamer PC. Make sure you check out the first link in the description for Apex Gaming PCs. Go grab yourself a Pro Gamer PC and use code PRO for 5% off. And what's really cool is if you don't want to get my PC, I've teamed up with JMW Films and Reese Brunk, so we all kind of work together. If you want to get one of their PCs, you could totally get theirs and use code PRO, but you, you want to get mine. Mine's, mine's better. And anyways, guys, without further ado, enjoy the video. You see, I have a plan. I always have a plan. They have the explosives planted. Boom. Good. Good. Now we're gonna go see if they really wanna try and stop me. But first, we're gonna go make sure everything is in place. Before we go ahead with our plan, we need to uh, make sure everything's ready to go. It's not blow this out of proportion. All right, we're gonna pay a little visit to the, the hospital that they put me in. Boom. Yeah, yeah, oh, boom. Okay. So the plan is we're gonna plant explosives all throughout the city, just so we have our, our little backup plan. And then, oh God, there's gunshots going off. Then once the explosives are planted, we're gonna cause some chaos in the truck. They're gonna, the police are gonna chase us. I'm gonna get out, surrender, have them capture me. And then I'm gonna make them choose, just kind of like the movie. I'm gonna make them choose what they wanna save. And then I'm gonna like, I'm gonna force them to let me go or else I'll blow it all up. I just wanna see how it's all gonna play out. Ooh, there's cops all over the hospital. Mmm. Get your bag. Come on, get the bag. Boom. Boom down. Boom hour. Watch, Boom hour. watch yourself inside. Come on, I guess we'll just let ourselves in. I just walked into a doctor's <laughs> patient room here. I'm gonna start planting explosives. The cops are, yeah, the cops right now are all over the place. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, they're gonna question why I have a bag with me, but they don't even know. Who is this right here? What the hell are you supposed to be, a clown? Yeah, a clown. I hear you. A clown. Tell me a joke, Mr. Clown. Oh, you want to know a joke? I'll tell you a joke. Oh, well, a Once upon a time, there was a little boy who believed, believed in a dream, the American dream. The oh. joke is, he believed in a system that would work. That's the joke. That sounds like a good joke. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> God, I love playing as this character. <laughs> there are cops everywhere I mean, they don't even know. <laughs> I'm actually you know kind of really, nervous. Oh, you know crap. It'd be really, you know it would be really funny if I start playing C4 in front of the cops? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, 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 don't do it. I think we're in the wrong hospital. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I know this scene. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> He already knows. He already knows what I'm gonna do. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take priority. Can I just ask real quick? Why are you walking into the hospital like that with a bag Boom on your time. back? And we're here to blood? visit a friend. You're very. You're here to visit Boom a friend. Time. Okay. We're at the wrong um, hospital. You at the. You at the wrong. Yeah. Okay. I just got out of the hospital, and I'm, I'm frankly scared seeing you walk in with face paint, and and that stuff, to say the least. No, I'm sorry you feel that way. Yeah, is it what's in that bag? Nothing. Nothing? There's nothing inside that bag. Nothing it's inside this bag. bag. Nothing. It looks pretty full. I mean I already planted everything so it's empty. So they can search me all they want. Sir, you wanna look inside the bag? Yeah, I do actually, with your permission. I actually gym clothes or something. Go ahead. Bag. Look inside. Okay. okay. Am I, is it gonna be like rats or something? Oh, okay. Never Big mind. Surprise. Probably. Have a lovely day. That cop, as soon as I reveal my plan, <laughs> when I'm when we finally get captured, I'm like, I planted explosives all over the city. He's gonna be like, Yep, I knew it. That cop is very suspicious of us. Oh, you gotta yeah. be kidding. What does he want? <laughs> what do we have in the truck? Nothing. Nothing in it. This cop is gonna be one of the first to explode! How you doing there, officer? Hi. Open the door real quick for me so I can uh, communicate oh, with you real quick. Sure thing. I'm 
Absolutely. You don't have any uh, any weapons in the vehicle like that, do you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Alright. Name is uh, Trooper Smith with the San Andreas High Patrol. The reason why I pulled you over is uh, you don't have any any plates on the uh, the back of your trailer right there. Oh, clumsy me. I forgot about the license plate. That's fine. Happens to the best of us. Do you yeah. have your uh, license registration proof insurance on you, sir? Unfortunately, I don't. You don't? Yeah. Are you in possession of any uh, any driver's license? Do you have it? or No. Do you don't have a license at all? No, I don't. You don't have a license at all? No. Okay. Could you do me a favor and just uh, step out, out of the vehicle for me real quick? Now or later? No, you can step out now. Just want to oh. have a chat with you. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, I... I have some things I have to do first. Some errands. I have some errands I have to run first. So I'm going to take care of those first. What's that supposed to mean, sir? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't plan on killing anybody here. I just want to cause a little bit of chaos. So when they like... capture me, when they capture me, I'm going to tell them I have explosives planted all throughout the city and a bunch of di various different Jeez buildings. So it's up to Christ. them to figure out which one they want to save first. Come on, what's everybody so scared for? <laughs> Something wrong? Are you scared? No need to be scared of me. <laughs> just walking out into the street and the cops are swerving around me. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, there goes the trailer. I guess you could say I dropped the trailer for my new movie. Excuse me. Uh, mind if I borrow one of those caskets real quick? I'm gonna need them where I'm going. Oh no! You caught me, Mr. Policeman. You caught me. I delivered myself to the final Oh, you got me. Whatever will I do? Don't move. Let me see some hands turn around. Oh, I don't plan on going anywhere. All right, get on your knees. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Officer. Mm, you got me red-handed. Looks like that's the end Running of my cuffs. little run. At this point in time, you're being placed on arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything mm. you say will be used against you in the court of law. You do that, have the right to attorney. You know, 4 one will be appointed by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand those rights? I understand loud and clear. Come on, take Thank me you. away. Don't you want to put me away? Come on, we put me behind bars. I'm a criminal. I'm a scumbag. I'm a low life. Come on. Don't you want to put me away? Put me behind guy bars. Looks According to state law, I'm not guilty yeah. just yet, so you can't call me a criminal. I'm innocent. Oh, you are guilty, guilty for multiple felonies, buddy. Oh, Your Honor, I didn't know you were a judge. Let me rise for you. I'll stand up in respect. Hmm, you caught me red handed. Got some good face paint going there, man. Thanks, I use it to hide my scars. Life is just a big joke. So I act like a clown to blend in. So what you running for? You got something inside that truck we should be curious about? <laughs> oh, there's nothing in the truck. See, the truck... The truck was just to get your attention. Well, it worked. Here we are. Hmm. I just don't know whether I want to do something now or... Maybe later. You see, the officer that pulled me over told me to step out, and well, here I am. So if he wants to continue his conversation, well, I think it would be rude not to take him up on that. What you trying to distract us from? Oh, distract you? Oh, no, no. I'm not trying to distract you from anything. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to trying to get you to see something i want you to i want you to see what i'm doing but hey we're in no questioning cell i'm in a holding cell i guess you're gonna ship me off to prison and you'll never know but if you want to ask me some questions uh, i'd like a cup of coffee and maybe my one phone call yeah i have a question for you i'll answer all the questions once i get my phone call Hey, I hate to ask, but does anybody know what time it is? 12.46. 12.46, oh god. Then we still have time for the show. Alright, sir. 
go ahead and walk through this door, this uh, gate right here. It's unlocked. Mm -hmm. To the left, mm -hmm. this door over here, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, sir, can I just have you face the wall for me? We're gonna take the mug shots first. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Alright, can I have you walk over to this table and face forwards? Let's just have a little bit of a chat. First of all, I want to be respectful. So, well, do you have a name I, I should call you? You can call me Jay. Alright, Jay. So, how have you been today? Oh, I have been real peachy. So I'll start off with my first question is, what do you mean by there's still time for the show? Well, I got some questions for you, if you don't mind. Sure thing, Mr. J. Are you a fan of movies? Am I a fan of movies? What Why, the certainly fuck? I am. I love movies. I love, I love romances. I love tragedies. I love comedies. I love, I love everything. I always love the pyrotechnics. I love the special effects. See, I can always tell. It's pretty easy for me to see when something's CGI and when something's real. I'm a big fan of Christopher Nolan's movies. I like everything practical. I love to really get the scene set. And the audience, so they know. They know the difference between CGI and the real thing. So when I make a boom, it's real. I always make a scene. See, life is like a stage. Once you get on that stage, you can do whatever you want. It's up to the audience whether or not they want to believe what you do. What do you do, sir? I make movies. And you're Your movie. in my little movie. And this movie is all about the American dream. You want to be a part of the American dream? What the hell? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that? What are you doing? What is that? Mm -hmm. It looks like the now you're going to be my little stage hand. You're going to help me. You're going to help me direct this movie right now. Right now, it's a mystery film. It's up to you whether or not you want to make this mystery film into an action movie or a tragedy. I'm going to give you the stage, policeman. It's up to you whether or not you want to play the play. What's it going to be? <laughs> what do you want to make this out to be? Do you want it to be your tragedy, or do you want it to be your comedy? It's up to you, really. Now, now I say we get back to business. Lights, camera, action. We're gonna need some um, lights then. Yeah, we will. Oh, what and... See, I wanted you to catch me, because I want to tell you something. You see, a few weeks ago, I don't know if you remember, there was a trooper. He was kidnapped. Now that trooper, Unfortunately, didn't make it. He didn't make it because the people that came to rescue him are the very same people who killed him. I'm gonna need you to take these cuffs off me. Well, you have been searched. You've been very compliant, so I'm willing to meet this demand so you can continue to drink your coffee. Why did why did these guys have uh, so much pride? You see, these people... These people that came to rescue the trooper, they... They were part of the FBI. And they were working with uh, various local departments, and they wanted to stop me. They wanted to kill me instead of trying to save the trooper. See, they didn't like the game I was playing. They were willing to risk the trooper's life just so they could kill me. I was gonna save the trooper. I was gonna drop him down gently, but I got the money, and they, well, they killed the trooper. So that made me realize something. Each one of these departments is a little bit corrupt. You wouldn't like to admit it. Maybe you can't even see it, but they put themselves before the line of duty. So I'm offering a chance. A chance to prove their pride isn't as big as the duty of the line of duty. So I have various things set in various different places. It's up to you to choose what you want to save. I haven't gotten my phone call yet. So let me tell you a little something about the truck. 
It's the truck. I was to get your attention, and I got it. And I'm trying to tell you that there's different places raked to blow. Hey, Hell's Cab Company. Can you hear me you just go. fine? Oh, okay. yes, I, I hear you perfectly, sir. Where, where's your location? I'll come to you. I'm currently at the Mission Row PD. I'm going to need a cab out front. There might be a slight right. delay, so you might have to wait just a moment. I do apologize for the wait, but I just need a cab out front, if you don't mind. That's fine, sir. I'm in route. I'm coming from the beach, so it might be a minute. Oh, take your time, please. Okie dokie. See you in a bit. All right, Mr. Hey, J. sir. How's it going? Staff Sergeant Sam Stray with the OSPD. What can I do for you today? See, I have a cab on the way, and All well, right. it would be rude to keep him waiting, so I'm going to need you to open up these doors and let me go. Okay, and if we don't? And if you don't, well, there's going to be a big firework display. As I told this detective here... I like movies, and in my movies, I use practical effects. Because the right. audience can tell the difference between CGI and the real deal. Do you want to see the real deal? Uh, not at this moment, but... And I um, suggest you open this door and okay, you let so me walk out. Mr. We J, let you I go, and I've... we won't see the fire display, correct? Oh, that's correct. All right. Is there any way you could we could... Do, we, do you have proof of without Are you sure setting? you really want to know? No, I'm yeah. not. Hold on. I unlock the door. Let him go. On, you, man. you're a lot smarter not, than the other ones were. Lives here. Mr. J, follow me. All One right. moment. Uh, do we'll you just... remember the trooper who was kidnapped with the helicopter? I, I don't exactly. But... Well, there was Are a trooper who was kidnapped, and he was blown up oh, by uh, his I rescuers who put oh, their pride there. before their line right of duty. You, you're smart. Oh, you're gonna go far. Well, do you have Real far. I'll see you around, gentlemen. Yeah, so he's being like us. So you guys <laughs> Holy crap, it worked! <laughs> they didn't even need, need to proof. blow anything up. Didn't even need to blow anything up. <laughs> oh, there will be fireworks, though. I'm a man of my word. I hope you are as well. Yeah. Oh, right on time. Is that my cab? Looks to be, sir. Yeah, it was a pleasure doing business. So you need a cab? Yeah. All right, hop in the back. Why are you do today? See you around, gentlemen. Why did they let? What did they All right, drive me to Legion yeah. Square. Yes, sir. Take me to that skyscraper over there. The one being built, sir. Yeah. Okie dokie. Do you happen to have a phone I could use? Sure. Here, hang my back. Hey, I got a question for you. What's going on? Do you like movies? Movies? I've seen a few, not many. What's your favorite kind of movie? Well, I like, like military action movies. Oh, Those good, good. Cool. Action movies are my favorite as well. You know, they're, I heard they're going to be playing a new movie in town. It's its a blockbuster action movie. Oh, sounds interesting. What, what's it called, sir? It's called The American Dream. It shows oh, all the flaws nice. in the system. It's gonna be a real smash hit. It's gonna be a real yeah. blowout of the box office. <laughs> I'm gonna have a guy coming down from the elevator shaft to give you your payment. Wait right here. Underside the building. All right, sir, it'll only be eight eight dollars. Eight dollars, good. Come on, hurry up. The plan's in motion. Give that guy a hundred thousand dollars in cash, or as much as you can. Take this. Good. I need it. Take yourself right. a vacation or something. As to men in suits clip. knock on your door, don't answer. Things went well, they let me go. We got work to do. Now, for phase two, we're gonna need someone. We're gonna need to find an officer who is gonna be willing to take part in our little business scheme. Go on radio. One, seven, 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 four, seven, yeah. I got an idea. We're gonna do this guy a favor. Hey, gentlemen, I got a job offer for two hard-working individuals like you. Ah, ah, it's a joker! It's a joker! Who is you? Who is you? Who is you, Cheryl? Who is you? You two get stepped on by the system. 
Yo, We're here simple. to fix the system. If you want to get paid, much? hop in. Wait, I have cops on me. All right, I'm getting on. Get out of here. Hey, stay where you are. Stay get where in. you are. Don't All get right, in that I'm van. Coming. Gentlemen following, if I were you, I'd back off now or else you'll find out what happens when maybe the bridge goes down. And I'm not talking about a drawbridge. Or maybe you don't want to put he your bars. pride aside he bars. and you're willing to watch people die. If you want to watch Man, people see die, this. I'm then good. keep following. All right, you two are going to help me. Because I'm going to help you. That's how things yes, work. Sure. I'm going to get these guys to back off. And if they don't, then I might have to blow up a hospital. Okay, Gentlemen, man, I'm yeah. going to suggest that you back off. Because if you don't, you're going to see a lot of people die, okay? Yeah, man. Is all this really worth everybody's lives? I suggest you back off. Or are you good? Keep following and watch everybody die. It's up to you. The choice is yours. Now, what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna help you by making you realize that as soon as everybody stops playing by the system's rules, well, things are a lot better for a lot of people. We're gonna need a cop, and you're gonna need a gun. Oh, yeah, I already have one. I have a combat piece, though. You're gonna need one bigger than that. Oh, man. Okay, man, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with the, the secret You are gonna help us. me take out the garbage. Now, you're not gonna shoot unless I give the word. This one here. I, I have the van in front of me. Don't move or else you'll die. You'll die if you move. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I should get down. I told you not to move. I told you not to move. It's a real shame. I told him not to move. I told him he didn't listen. You heard me, right? You heard me say it. Yes. I yes. said don't yes. move. I told him not to, but he didn't want to listen. No, he didn't want to listen. Now I need to go on this little radio here, and I need to start talking to people. But first, I'm going to need another cop for leverage. I need to find another one that's alone. Excuse me, officer. Uh, please special. don't move. Please. I'm asking nicely. Officer, we just want to talk. Okay, we just want to talk. Please, just let us talk. That's all I want to do. If you don't stop, I'm going to start blowing things up. It's all going to be on you. We just want to talk. Okay, what do you want to talk about? I'll tell them back off. Hold on. See, I... Talk about? I have half the city rigged to blow, so if they okay. shoot me or any of my men, I'm going to start blowing up buildings. Yeah, we got that. We got that. I'm going to need you. You're going to need me. I'm going to need you. Yeah, you heard me. You're going to need me. Okay, can I, pull, can I put my car on the side here, please? Go ahead. Tell your guys yeah, I'm, I'm if they up. if they shoot me or anybody else, well, half the city is okay. gonna start going okay. off. I'm just gonna back up. So let me just let me just go turn ahead. You park your car off the side of the road. We gotta be safe after all. You hear that, everybody? You shoot me, and well, bridges might start collapsing. Hey, boss. Do I don't you suggest want me to get you start burning bridges today. Now, I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. But your friends here, they might think they're too big for their job and. I they might not want to play along. Off, so. well, that's fine. I'm just going to take your guns from you. Just yeah, so go everything ahead. goes smoothly. I'm going to need everyone to not follow too closely. Or as a matter of fact, don't follow at all. And remember, uh, the minute one bullet goes flying, I make sure that everything gets leveled. Now, we're going to give this city a show of a lifetime. I have no beef with you. You're free to move around as you please, all but... Right try to escape, well, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to set off the bombs. I'm going to kill a lot of other people. Because you, so, when you took your oath to the job, you put other people before you. And I respect that. So you don't care whether or not you die. Because you know I have leverage over you. So Indeed. if you try to run, I kill other people. Now we're gonna give this city a show of a lifetime. Density to be advised, his radio is gonna be missing. I mean, down troopers, so they might be. A oh, the radio isn't missing. It's right here now. I think it's time for us to begin our little show. What do you say? What's going on? I thought we said we weren't gonna uh, start the fireworks. Now the fireworks aren't gonna start just yet. I just wanted to let you know that they were there. See, last time I tried to get some money and in exchange for the life of a trooper, and well, that worked out. The trooper's life was ended. He was ended by his rescuers. 
We're gonna try again, and we're gonna see who's more important here. We're gonna see what you really wanna do. Do you wanna save people, or do you wanna act better than you are and not watch the show? Now, you've been cooperative with me, so I'll cooperate with you a little. I, I suppose you're looking for your missing, uh, what are you, LSPD? Well, he's not missing. He's right here at Postal 392. We have him here. Okay. And what do you want for his return? I want everyone here. Okay. I want everyone. And two, correct? 392. Okay, can we have all units go to uh, 392? Oh, the sirens. Oh, it's really uh -huh. exciting. Yeah, man. Lights, camera, action, everyone. Yeah, so Mr. J, what do you want? Uh, we're all here. Most of us are here now. Uh, what, what's the next step? Now, the next step, that's for me to know and you to find out. Now, Josh, I got some questions for you, Josh. So do you trust your brothers in blue to yeah, save you? Oh, good, good. Do you trust your brothers in blue to make the right call when it's needed? I mean, if the right call means saving more people, then yeah, of course. Good. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to begin our little event here. Now, we're up on one of the top floors with your officer here. You may come upstairs if you'd like. Is that okay. to retrieve the officer? Oh, it's for proof of life. Okay. I'm sure right. you will uh, are you, So are you up there right now? Yes, we are. Okay, are you armed? My men are, yes. They okay, won't shoot you, you have they my word. Now, we're gonna try. We're gonna try something a little different here, okay? Okay, let me just bring you a little closer. We're gonna play a little game. Every time I've done something, everyone wants to put their egos first. They always want to try to stop me. I have, I have a choice for you to make. Now there's a hospital rigged to blow. Everyone inside will surely die. And there's a school also rigged to blow the college, the Los Santos College. It's up to you if you want to save either of those. But I also have one little more surprise. Two departments, the Highway Patrol Office and the Davis Police Station are also rigged to blow. You have your chance to save two of those. Well, Mr. J, if it's up to me, an LSPD officer, I would save the, uh, the hospital and the, uh, the school. Good choice. But that's what I want to hear. What do you really want? Well, like I, like I said, Mr. J, if I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'm not in Highway Patrol nor, uh, BCSO, so I, I don't really have any interaction with their stations nor- Other than saving the buildings, tell me what it is you really want most of all right now. Sir, what I want to save that officer's life. Save as many lives as possible. That's why you were put on this this force. This is why you signed your oath or whatever. Because you want to be better than everybody else. That's the case. That's always the case. Everyone always wants to save the day and be the hero. You all want to end up in the papers, I know. You want to see your name on a, a front page magazine saying you were the hero and you saved the day. Well, you can't always be the hero. Hmm. You see, do any of you know the case of the trooper who was kidnapped by the giant magnet? I do, sir. Now, do it's you un, know it's, what it's, happened it's, it's to him? Yes, sir. It's unfortunate the way the uh, FBI and local departments acted on that day. That is a real shame. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow up one building, and I'm going to be donating all of the Bitcoin that I got to the victims of the families. And then, well, we'll see. I want you to blow the... Mm. The hospital. Do it. Wait. Get ready for the fireworks, gentlemen. The show isn't going to be all smoke and mirrors. 4241, evacuate all Come hospitals. I repeat, evacuate all hospitals. They're rigged to blow. They all beat me. Be advised, explosions, oh, massive explosions. Boom, boom, so boom. From the pill box. Oh, sh Yo, pill box guy. hospital. You guys didn't act fast enough. You see, my favorite thing is that life can be any movie you want, and right now it's a comedy. The hospital was empty, silly. We didn't kill anyone. 
I did a lot of property damage, a lot of things got destroyed, but no, in the end, no one was killed. Same for the school as well, it's rigged to blow, but let's be honest, the only one there at this time of night is the custodian. My next lesson is you don't always get what you want. Five, three, but what six, are you want right Hills, now? Medical. I want everyone to go home and no one to get hurt. Don't we all want that? We all do. We all do. You want to know what my movie is called? What's it called? What's it called, Mr. J? It's called The American Dream. And well, this movie's about to turn into a tragedy because I realized long ago that the American dream, well, it's flawed. Oh, it's in front of the right at its core. Water. The rich stay rich and the poor, well, they stay poor. Hey, this is Mr. J. I really hope you all enjoyed the show at the hospital. Thankfully, there was no one there and the hospital was evacuated, so no one died. Not yet, at least. We want to see, see it go, go your, your way. way. My way? Fine, you want to see it go my way? You all wait right there. You want to see things go my way, do ya? You want to see things go my way, do ya? Yes, why? Then we'll see things go my way. Oh, uh, David's oh speed is evacuated. Oh, 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 it's full of things that people don't like to see. Oh. I want my little friends here to have a million dollars each, the construction workers. And hey, I want all their see, records I can't find to be clean. The helicopter. Okay. That would be good to work for that. that. And also, and also, so you don't pull pe random people over when you're trying to work. I was fucking working, and your officer pulled us over for no reason. They get screwed over by people like you. People who try to control the law. The rules are different. I'm well, in so control gonna of be the on law top now. Of the FBI is the whole reason that the last trooper died. And the FBI could be the reason that everyone else dies. Do you okay, really I, want I, that I, I to be I the case? I talked to someone uh, in the FBI, and the money's the money's getting worked on right now. Good. You got your money. Finally, hardworking Americans can get what they deserve, and it's time for the hardworking men and women in blue to get what they deserve. You get what you deserve. Oh. Uh, now, uh, uh, now that we uh, all got what we wanted, I'll see you around, gentlemen. Oh, no, he's gonna jump on, <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> Real shame what had to be done. I wouldn't do it. Check that shot. Everyone you know and love is gonna die. I'm gonna jump. You won't be able to hold me accountable for everything I've done. We're not gonna shoot you. Oh, I know you won't, because if you do, everything's gonna go bad for you. Well, gentlemen, it's been nice knowing you. Drive us the hell out of here. Well, gentlemen, that was, uh, that was a fun time we all had. I hope I was able to prove my point about how the system is flawed. Maybe some people took the message. Maybe some people didn't. Maybe, just maybe, after this whole thing, the system will be even more flawed. Never put your pride before you're the line of duty. And remember, never trust a thieving scumbag lowlife like me. Have a wonderful day. Pieces, baby, I'm trying to pick a piece.